Yo, what's poppin? Welcome to Broman Rhapsody and this is day 14. Today is day 14 of my 18 days with the R18 coast to coast ride for the Pediatric Brain Tumor Foundation. Um, I started from Casper, Wyoming this morning. Um, I took a quick stop. I forgot to do my quick intro video in the morning. Uh, I'm in Midwest, Wyoming. My ride for the 18 days, of course it's an 18 days with the R18. It's a 2022 BMW R18 Transcontinental. Shout out to BMW Motorrad North America and the BMW Performance Center for providing me with this motorcycle for this trip. Shout out to our friends at Motorcycles of Greensboro for helping co to coordinate and for the riding gear that I, I got on. This is day 14, I've covered about 5,400 odd miles on this motorcycle. Four more days, five more days actually counting today to get to the east coast covered the west coast now headed out east again i'm doing this ride to raise funds and spread awareness for the pediatric brain tumor foundation it's the foundation that helps uh, children and teens and who are, uh, who are diagnosed with uh, pediatric brain tumor which happens to be the deadliest form of uh, childhood cancer uh, and their families with uh, training support uh, treatment treatment costs and they also fund research into uh, curing pediatric brain tumor so they do a lot of good work so if you like what you see uh, I have the link to my fundraising page in the video description below check them out and if you'd like go ahead and feel free to donate every every bit matters every dollar matters thank you gorgeous day temperatures like what 78 degree Fahrenheit yeah perfect for riding and we're gonna see some cool spots today cool cool spots uh yeah <laughs> so this is, trip has been such an amazing amazing trip i've met such cool people i've seen some cool spots and it's just been such a wonderful experience of you know seeing the country and traveling around the country covered about five thousand plus miles up till now and the goal is to cross eight thousand miles by the time i get back home to north carolina so none of this would have been possible without you guys the viewers the subscribers you know, like the videos and subscribe and share and all of that that means a lot to me and thank you so much for that just wanted to take a moment to thank all of you all and of course a shout out to our friends at motorcyclist map who helped me with picking up so many spots all along the road all along the way our friends at lunar lens they are our pixologists they make all these pictures look awesome <laughs> and of course last but not least our partners at fusion 9 the hottest new Indo-Chinese restaurant in the Reese's Triangle Park. <laughs> well, this trip has been amazing and I am looking forward to the last few days. And speaking of Motorcyclist Map, then our next location is thanks to Motorcyclist Map. I saw this on the map and this was cool. Check them out. Now, a lot of you might know that the devil wears Prada. <laughs> but did y'all know that his tower is here in Wyoming? That's the devil's tower. It consists of solidified lava. Or here's a closer look of the devil's tower. <laughs> pretty cool and check out that gorgeous scenery all right let's get on the road
Welcome to Montana. <laughs> Welcome to South Dakota. Finally made it to South Dakota, but so did my best friend the rain. So <laughs> we're going we're gonna go that way so it looks bright our horizons on that side. So fingers crossed, let's keep going. Ladies and gentlemen, I am at Sturgis. There's a famous Iron Horse Saloon. <laughs> All right, let's go down Harley Davidson Way. <laughs> This is the Sturgis Amphitheater, Harley Davidson Sturgis, hoo hoo. And way out there in the distance is the Sturgis sign on the hill out there, it says Sturgis. <laughs> Pretty cool. All right, onward. Deadwood, cute little place. <laughs> oh, very cool. Oh, lots of motorcycles. of motorcycles there. I see a gold wing, bunch of Harleys. I think there's an Indian in the middle, a chieftain. <laughs> All right, let's go. Let's tr go and try to find Nemo. We're gonna go ahead and try to find Nemo, y'all. Nemo. <laughs> oh, this looks like a cute little town. Deadwood.
place right here is the Pactola Pactola Dam and Reservoir. Man, it's gorgeous. Looks like a lake. In other news, I'm still being chased by storms from there and there. <laughs> and I have to head there, the, the little hole. Hopefully I get through there, but there's blue skies. So I made a quick change of plans. I was going down to Nemo, but I saw that there was a lot of rain and uh, clouds down there. So skipped Nemo, came right back, headed to Mount Rushmore. Let's see if we can make it. Uh, if it rains, we're probably not gonna do it, but we'll see. So right, right after I made my last video by the lake, uh, which was there by the lights, 10 miles down there, where that little clearing is, uh, I got a warning from the weather app about a severe thunderstorm warning in this area. Uh, Mount Rushmore is somewhere there, and it's showing that there's a lot of rain and thunderstorm over there. So I'm bummed, but I'm gonna have to skip it. I don't want to be stuck in a thunderstorm. I'm gonna be headed that way into Nebraska, so it is what it is. All right, it's been quite a fun and amazing day. It's been an eventful day, lots of rain, lots of rain, and even got a thunderstorm warning. <laughs> so the goal was to head down to Nemo and then to Mount Rushmore, but you know, uh, we can only do so much, especially when the weather is trying to uh, uh, rain on your parade. <laughs> <laughs> but you know you gotta adapt and adapt and improvise so here I am I'm heading into Nebraska the initial goal was to stay somewhere in South Dakota but now we're headed into Nebraska and uh, I'm gonna ride for a fair amount of time tonight because we are pretty much in the middle of nowhere <laughs> and as you can see there's nothing here nothing it's just pitch dark and the one thing I really like are these gauges. These gauges are very well lit. I love the white light. Um, makes it easy to read. It makes it really easy to read. Um, I don't know when I'm gonna stop for tonight. Uh, I guess whenever I find uh, a nice little town. Yeah, might as well stretch my legs a little bit. Been a long day, but hey, you guys, Thanks for watching you guys, keep your knees in the breeze and I'll see you soon, catch you on day 15, bro out. <laughs>